right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a great weekend. Starting a week off right with some scrap metal today. So, heading to a gentleman's house. Um, got in touch with him through someone else, and uh, he's he's got some stuff. I've gone and previewed it, and it was one of those things where a few pieces got away, because I guess once family members found that they were gonna clean some stuff out, they came and got it. So anyway, we're on the way. We're going to go see what he's got. He supposedly has a way to load it. I don't know how much uh, filming I'll, I'm gonna be doing. I'll try my best, but if I'm trying to load and help him, I may not be able to do it. So we'll see what all he's got. I don't really remember everything, but it is some big pieces, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is what we're working with. All this stuff except that big sprayer is not going. Those two pieces aren't going. That boom sprayer back there is gonna go, but I'm probably gonna hold on to that. But all this stuff, all this pile of stuff all the way to the mower. So, we're gonna have us a couple of loads. Might take two trips, we'll have to see. But yeah, pretty pumped about that. That's a huge fan sprayer. That thing's crazy, but that's not going either. So, let's get to work.
Checking, checking my straps here to make sure that everything's good. Little compressor, another small compressor, get the cords off of them, they're junk. I'll probably get that motor off of that bigger one. Mower, may save that I-beam. Somebody will probably want it at the scrap yard anyway. Um, couple of grills, we're loaded down good. So I'm <clears throat> gonna go back and get that sprayer frame. And there's another frame with a PTO on it that I'm gonna save and um, try to fix something out of it. I'm sure we can use it. And yeah, that's about it. So that's what we got. We're loaded up. Let's carry it on. Hot and sweaty already. So we got, uh, we got the bat signal. Not really the bat signal. I guess we got the, the metal signal and there's more metal at Walmart. But as you just saw, unfortunately, my trailer is overflowing and I really don't want to make two trips to the scrapyard. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go to Walmart and see what I can fit on the trailer and go from there and see if it's worth going back again uh, before I go back and get that sprayer frame or just let it be. And I mean, there'll be another scrapper by there in an hour to get it. So it's not like it's going to go to waste. Somebody will get it, but I think we're going to go ahead and go. I really don't want to make two trips to the scrapyard today. We're going to go see what they got. Cross your fingers at something good and hopefully just a lot of shelving and stuff that we can cram on top of all this and make our little trip to the scrapyard even better. All right, here's one little pile of it. Um, these little carts here are nice. This one right here is pretty nice. I don't know, that metal's, that metal's kind of flimsy. But these on the other hand, those are aluminum, aluminum racks. Let's just take a closer look at those. And then this movie bin and this thing, these are the, this is what I was afraid of. It was gonna be this type stuff that's just too big to get on here right now, I think. But we might see if we can take it apart, see what we can do. All right, let's get to work. Okay, little update. This movie bin actually came apart. So I'm laying it flat right here. Got this little rack in here. This vendor rack right here is gonna stay. It's like a Nabisco or something. It's mounted down to that pallet and it's honestly just too big for what I need. I'll grab that little piece. But I really want to save room for these. These may go in the back of the truck. It might look crazy, but, and then I think we can throw this up there too. And he's got, if you can look way up here, there's a pallet right there, but that's got shelving, so that's perfect. So we're gonna add some more weight. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. Love calls, love days like today. All right, enough talking, let's get done. We're gonna leave these two pieces. I just don't have enough room right now. Uh, this one's got a little bit of weight to it. It's really not that substantial. I got the, I think I got the best stuff, the heaviest stuff um, and the nicest, these aluminum things, but I also see why they have them on here now. They're broken, so they're going for scrap. So that'll be some good aluminum. Got one in the back of the truck, one here. They're both broken in the same spot. And I figured out these were the, these were the, um, home shopping carts where they fill in your orders and take them. That's why they're aluminum. 
So we're gonna leave that and then we're gonna go get this little pile of stuff and we're gonna hit the road. Okay, y'all, wrapping it up the next day as has pretty much become tradition. Goodness gracious, because by the time I get home, you know, you got family stuff and trying to get ready for ball games and all that stuff. So we're gonna wrap it up the next day here, but this is what we ended up with. This is the this is the pecan tree shaker, which you put that up to the PTO. Obviously, you got your hitches here, and then that rotates, pulls that bar, and the cables go around the tree and vibrate the tree. And my man built this and he said it didn't work the way he wanted it to, so he gave it to me. So at least the PTO shaft is worth something, I suppose. Um, I don't really know what, what else you would build off of this, but that's what it is. That's what we got. Uh, we picked up several more pieces of, you know, just some small pieces that already have been cut and used of angle, flat iron, all that stuff. Probably get a few pieces out of there. A floor jack that doesn't work some expanded metal 
But what I'm most excited about is this spray frame here. Obviously a new tank and hoses are in order just because it's dry rotted, but really long booms, probably cut them about in half. And that will be perfect to spray the paths that um, the rototiller uh, guy that came through and did my paths, it would be perfect for that. And he made a little bar here that goes across the middle so you have complete coverage. Really excited about that. That'll be a good project to do. Just clean it up a little bit, cut those bars in half and replace the nozzles and hoses. Um, so yeah, that'd be a pretty cheap fix, I think. Just take some time. And I think the last thing I want to show you is we picked up some um, some sheet metal that uh, is going to work perfectly for our uh, cover for our chicken coop and whatever other animals that we end up with. Uh, it is this color on the backside, kind of a beige tannish color. There's one really long sheet and then several, I think there's three that are that length and then several that are varying lengths, but I think we'll be able to cover pretty much the whole outside and I'll probably just have to get some more for the roof to make it, you know, nice and neat. But I, this'll be, that, that'll save a lot of money. Some free two by fours, somebody was giving them away. Um, this one has nails in it, but other than that, I'm not gonna turn down free wood with the price of wood these days. But just wanted to show you that, thought that was pretty neat. And uh, that's where we ended up, so. That's about it for this one. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming along on this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it is getting warm. I was pouring sweat yesterday. It's already turning that time of year. Just hot already. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when it turns 95 outside and I'm out here doing this. I just, it's so, it's so rough on me, but that's the way it goes. It gets hot here in North Carolina. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We will see you on the next video. Oh yeah, and go get you a Buzzfish hat. You should do it. I recommend it. Tell them I sent you. See you next time.